We finally had time to visit Hanover, and so we're gonna go to the Sea Life exhibit and maybe some gardens and tourist attractions. It was originally supposed to rain, which is why we picked an indoor activity, but it looks like the weather held out and so we'll be able to see the beautiful gardens today too, which are conveniently across the street from Sea Life. We've now entered the tropical area. This reminds me of when we were at the zoo in Leipzig. Oh, we're in like the dome area. Wow, that was it. All right, so quick, short little tour of the sea life. Uh, now we're on to the gardens, I guess. That went way faster than I thought. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it was still fun. Now we're on to the gardens, which I'm really excited for because I did prior research and it looks really cool. Hopefully the weather will hold out. It's supposed to rain later, but right now it's a little cloudy, which is nice because it's not as hot, but just hold out a little longer, rain. We're starting in the bear garden, which means mountain garden. It was originally for herbs for the electress Sophia, but then she decided to make it for her exotic plants. Nowadays, this park is one of the world's leading botanical gardens, growing 2,000 plants from 3,000 species. The main event is the Orchid House, which has Europe's largest orchid collection made up of 800 plants from 300 species. This place is full of past flowers. It's beautiful here. You could spend hours just getting lost in flowers. Along with the orchids, we also got to see some cacti and tropical plants in the same greenhouse. It is toasty in this garden. Oh, this one's gonna feel way better. This one's the tropical area. Look at these giant lily pads. Look at all these hibiscus. They're crazy in bloom and beautiful. It smells really good in this area. <laughs> they have a sundial right in the middle, surrounded by cute little succulents. Crossing the street to go to the other gardens now. We're now entering the Grosse Garden, or the Great Garden. Look at all the benches. And these trees. Picture a place to sit and relax. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Whoa, look at this place! It is crazy amazing! Blew my mind when I saw it. We are in the Great Garden right now, also known as Herrenhauser Garden, and it was laid out by the elected Sophia in the 17th century. I can't even imagine what it takes to maintain all of this. <laughs> Each one of these entries is surrounded by tall fence-like bushes, and they contain different types of styles of gardens or different types of flowers or setups. They're really cool. Very symmetrical here. If there's a gazebo on the left, there's a gazebo on the right. That's the style, I guess. This is the great fountain, but it's not even on. But you can see the fountain itself. Elector George Ludwig pursued an ambitious aim for his pleasure garden. Instead of many small fountains, one high fountain would make a big impression and outdo the fountains of other royal gardens. It turned on, we just had to wait until two o'clock. The great fountain attained its imposing height of 35 meters in 1720. This meant that this was the highest in Europe and it was the great achievement of the Hanoverian electoral and English king, George I. I guess all of the fountains turned on it too. They have this beautiful walking path with trees surrounding it and a bike path, everything. Even horse-drawn carriages. A perfect way to get to each garden. We are now in Georgengarten, which is basically a big park and it belonged to King George III in 1810. The park was originally named 
Von Modenschloss, which I probably slaughtered, but changed to Georgenpalais, and the park was renamed Georgengarten. The grass areas are utilized for recreational activity and just hanging out with friends. We have to cross the street to get to the other park. We made it to Welfengarten. It's basically the same as Georgengarten, but with more playgrounds. Feels a little more open, more grassy areas, or maybe it's just less crowded because the other one had a lot of activity going on. But it's pretty much the same thing. Welfengarten Garden was destroyed in the Second War, but rebuilt specifically for the university, which we are very close to. It's been a long day and it feels like we've been walking forever, but it was so worth it. The gardens were all very beautiful, especially the Great Garden, seeing all those beautiful flowers, how it was laid out. Sea life, maybe not so much, but we got combo tickets, so everything was a lot cheaper. If you're only here for a little bit, I highly recommend the Great Garden. It was definitely my favorite place to go.